Hey, if you want to know how to knock back an enemy in Unity, you've come to the right place, so stay tuned. Here in Unity I have prepared an animated character that can hit and I have also prepared an enemy that you can damage. If you want to know how to do all this just watch the videos in my description or click on my channel. Let's start by giving the enemy a rigid body 2D where we turn off the rotation. Ok and now we will modify our enemy health script so that the opponent is knocked back when he takes damage and for this we will create the following new variables. RB is a rigid body 2D which is the simulated physics body of our enemy that we just attach to the enemy. Knockback force is a number that will determine how strong the knockback should be and knockback force up is a number that will determine how strong the enemy should be knocked upwards. So now we quickly change what should happen when the enemy takes damage. In the if function which is executed when the opponent takes damage I have now called the function knockback and in the function knockback the following things will happen. First the position of the nearest damage source is determined and written to the variable attacker which has the type transform. For this I use the function get closest damage source. Because I want to write this function onto a variable of the type transform, I have to create this function also as the type transform. In the function the following things will happen. First I create an array of all game objects which can damage the enemy and search all game objects which have the tag weapon and store them in it. I take the tag weapon because the opponent should only take damage from the weapon of the player. But theoretically it could be the case that there are more players in the scene. That's why we still need to find the closest weapon because this is the weapon that has damaged the enemy. For this I create a number which is set to infinite. Then I create a transform which should have the coordinates of the closest damage source and reset it first. Now I check for each found damage source if its distance to the enemy is smaller than the distance of the previously checked damage source to the enemy. If this is the case the current shorter distance is saved as the shortest distance and the current damage source is selected as the closest. The position of this closest damage source is then returned to the variable attacker. Phew, ok, there was a lot of nerd talk, but ok. Now that we have this position we can move on, because now a new vector 2 is created which is called knockback direction. In this vector we will basically determine if the damage source is to the left or to the right of the opponent. That's why we only ask for the x value and not for the y value. This information is then summarized in this vector. A velocity is then applied to the rich body of the opponent in the just determined knockback direction as well as upwards as determined in knockback force up. In order to subsequently fine tune this knockback we then amplify this knockback with knockback force. And done. Now let's quickly run away from this boring code and finally into the scene. Here we first create a tag that must be exactly called as we named it in the code and then give it to the player's weapon. Then we go to the enemy and drag the rigid body into the appropriate field of the script and now we can start the game and test if all the values fit. If the enemy flies too far away, reduce the knockback force. The same counts for if he flies too high. Then you have to reduce the knockback force up. If the opponent slides too far, just play with the linear drag and the mass of the rigid body. But if everything is set up correctly we have managed to build a knockback system into our attack system. If you want to learn more things about making video games in a simple way just have a look at my channel. If I manage to teach you something feel free to leave a thumbs up and I catch you next time. Ciao!